In this video, we're going to tell you seven things you need to know before getting a blue healer puppy. Blue healers are intense. They're loving, loyal, and super smart. They make for great family dogs. They make for great herders. These guys are versatile and can do just about anything, but they may not be for everyone. So in this video, we're gonna tell you seven things you gotta know before you get a blue healer. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We make dog videos that are educational and entertaining. And by the end of this video, you'll know if you're ready for your blue healer or not. And if you are, you're ready Ready for a great dog that will be with you for a long time to come. Let's count down the seven things you need to know. Number seven, they need space. These are old working herding dogs so they love to run. They have a lot of energy and they need exercise. They want to be outside running all over the place and they need about two hours of rigorous activity every day. So if you live in a small apartment or maybe in the city, it may not be best for you or you at least need to be thinking of a place you can take your dog daily so that they can get the exercise they need. If blue healers don't get the exercise required, they can turn destructive and it can be unhealthy for them because they were bred to run, play, and herd all day long. The number six thing that you need to know is that blue healers are very, very smart. They are incredibly intelligent, and so if you're gonna own a blue healer, you need to be able to stimulate their brain. So they'll do this through nose work, or through hide and seek, or fetch, different things to keep this dog active. They need a job to do. They need to keep their minds active because they're so smart and they're a herding dog that needs to be able to use their brain to solve things and find ways to get things done. So if you're gonna have a blue healer, just know that it won't work to be sitting around, not active with them, both physically and mentally. They've got a lot of energy and this dog will be happy to do whatever it is that you need from them. The number five thing you need to know, blue healers are incredibly protective of their families. So when you bring this dog into your family, just know they're going to be very protective and watch out for you and the family. So this is important to know as you bring a new blue healer into the community, into the neighborhood, that get them socialized early because if not, they have a protective instinct of you and the rest of the family. And it's important to know because a blue healer could injure you or somebody else in trying to protect you. So get them socialized early, train them on the right things to do, and this dog will be no problem at all. The number four thing you need to know before getting a blue healer puppy is that they shed and they shed a lot. They shed so much because they have a dense double coat and it's the undercoat that just continues to shed all year round, especially in the spring and fall. But all year round, you can expect your blue healer to shed like crazy. So if you're not ready for shedding or it's something that you're not prepared for in terms of how much, then it's important to know that a blue healer sheds a lot. And in order to maintenance this and prevent this from being too big of a hassle inside your home, you'll need a good brush and a regular grooming maintenance routine. The number three thing you need to know about blue healers is that they will definitely bite and nip. Because of their herding, working class dog background, these dogs have been out herding and nipping the heels of cows for years. So they have a strong instinct to nip and bite. And this is very common when they're young and just learning out the world. So it'll be important for you as the owner to have tips and tricks ready to go to stop them from biting. It can be very concerning and a little scary when your dog bites or nips at you, but trust me, it's okay. This is natural for a blue healer and they will be corrected and they will be able to live a long, happy, healthy life with you. Don't give up on them early. Instead, correct it and they'll be just fine. Number two is separation anxiety. Blue healers do not do well being alone for long periods of time, and they don't do well in crates for long periods of time either. So if you're going to be gone at work and you're not going to be around them for long periods of time, you definitely want to get somebody over to the house that's able to be with them and let them out because they want to be by their human and they want to be by you as much as they possibly can. So just know that the blue healer could get destructive and could have problems if you're not around them quite often. And the final tip and the most important tip, we've mentioned it before, the exercise requirements for the blue healer. 
this dog needs two hours a day of rigorous activities, going for a walk, playing fetch. It won't be enough just to let them out in the backyard. They need to be with you. They want to be doing things with you. And they want to be running wild and free. So if you can't provide this for a blue healer, you'll need to look for options to provide it. Otherwise, they'll be destructive inside the home and will be unhealthy. They've got a lot of energy and they want to burn it up because if that pent up energy stays with them, they can be very destructive and it can be very bad for you and the dog. So get them outside and the energy required to have a happy long life with your blue healer. We hope you've enjoyed this video about the blue healer and we hope you have a long, happy life with your blue healer and we'll see you on the next one.